Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with what's sold on eBay and Poshmark. <laughs> Didn't get Mercari this time, but we're going to be okay here. How's everybody doing? Hi. Hey. Sales are okay. They're okay. Yep. The ASP of what we're about to show you is higher than yesterday, I think, in Which, general. Okay. Because we had some pingers yesterday. We sure did. Pingers are us yesterday. Yeah. So All... when I say pingers, go, go, go. go. What? What? I, pingers. Go. Pingers. Pingers. <laughs> You just go boo. Dan uh, made sound effects. This is in honor of our. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can even hear those. Today from... is our third YouTube anniversary. Yeah. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you all for being here for three years. Some of you have been here for three years. Yeah. And it means a lot to us. It really does. Thank you for watching. <laughs> birthday celebrations that's right all right we're gonna start with poshmark okay something from juicy couture sold i don't know what it is i think it's the one i found with the things what is it where it's is a, it it's right here the shirt what is it oh it's a um full zip velour hoodie yes and it's it brown these do very well for us particularly if you can find the matching pants this is just a regular old brown velour hoodie from juicy and it's a uh, vintage and it sold for 25 bucks. Love it. I think, I hope we're gonna make our goal today. It's gonna be a really close one. Uh oh. But all of the sales are pretty solid. I would agree with that. All right, pick them up if you see them, especially at thins. I would not pay up for these though, no. unless it's the full. You can get the whole ensemble, you know? <laughs> Probably worth it. That's all I'm saying. All right, dollars on Posh is good. I think so, yeah. Okay, four, four, two, five. The next is a tuxedo. A three-piece tuxedo. Do you have that over there? At that, right? Where's the tuxedo? It's right here. Oh. <laughs> I don't have it down here. So this is from Hugo Boss. I'll let Dan tell you all about it. Uh-oh. Let's see. So this should be the jacket, the vest, and the pants for, it's the, nice. for the full three piece. It is really nice. Yeah, here's the uh, the vest. <clears throat> there you go. It is a like a satin with the satin buttons. Yes. So that's how you know it's a tuxedo, number one. And then the jacket, you know it's a tuxedo because of the lapels. Right, the pants have the And the stripe. pants have the stripe. This is a full tuxedo. We let this go for $85. It was not our full asking price by any means, but we had had it a while. Here you go. It's nice. Yeah, this way. There it is. It is nice. Came from Saks, apparently. And uh, it, it, we, we had it for a while, and it's a 40 short. It's a very specific size. Yeah. So we're happy to find a buyer, particularly on Poshmark, because they don't return for fit. And with a tuxedo, the return ratio is very high because people could wear it to an event and then return it. Right. We could like, do that. Yeah, it just didn't work <clears throat> out. Right. But they already had a wedding in it. <laughs> <laughs> the pictures are already on Facebook. Right. So Poshmark is great because hopefully it stays at their house. Yes. <laughs> and does not come back to our house. And right. we, we run that risk with any formal wear. You can put one of those tags on it. I did, it's very loud. I did buy a tagging gun, so maybe we'll do something like that in the future. Like, if you remove this tag or oh, whatever. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know, but 85 bucks, that's great. What do we have into this tuxedo? Uh, 9 69 9 think. bucks. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay. The other benefit about this being sold on Poshmark is the shipping, because it is pretty heavy. Yeah. 
shipping's great. Uh, the next thing, we're gonna start our eBay sales. We have 11 things going out on eBay. So that's a total of 13 things leaving and we, we're more comfortable around 20 things a day. So it is a little slow, but I'm not freaking out. Not freaking out. Ebbs and flows, baby, ebbs and flows. Yeah, see, that's over three pounds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Poshmark. Next is another menswear. Yeah, this is just sold. Just sold. We've had it for a very long time. Yep. Doesn't even have a ticket on it. Doesn't even have a ticket. This is a Hickey Freeman mm -hmm. men's size 48 regular Madison black two button sport coat, 100% wool. This sold for $47.96. And that's fantastic because we've had it a very long time, like oh, I said. Yeah. And this is going to Louisiana, which is great because it's close to us. If you're new, we're in Dallas, Texas and shipping priority or first class or anything goes up by how the distance has to go. And Louisiana is our neighboring state, so it should be okay. Yeah. We charge $12.99 flat shipping and it used to work out better for us. We're still evaluating that price. Yep. Uh, we used to use regional boxes a lot and they have discontinued them. This is a Hickey Freeman. Uh, there it is. Is it gonna? There you go. There it kind of goes. It's still reflecting quite a bit of the light. But... It's a nice coat. It is. I don't know why it took so long to sell. It may have been the photos. Could have been the photos, could have been the size, could have been... Could have been, been a lot of things. Lots of things. Uh, it, yeah, forty-seven ninety-six, and then they paid twelve ninety-nine shipping. So we're gonna try. You can still mail things in regional boxes, and we often do. You just don't get a regional rate. Right. You just ship it like a regular priority package. And going to Louisiana, I would guess this is gonna cost about eight ninety, eight eighty six, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Yesterday we sent something to New Mexico, which is on the other side of us, and it was very similar. It was like eight ninety something. Yep. You start to once you ship enough, you start to understand yeah distance and weight and measurements you start to it becomes second nature i know if you're just starting ebay it's really hard trust me i know but just have faith in the fact that you will it will get easier every single day every single day it gets easier Absolutely and i love that true. <clears throat> okay the dimensions of the box are 11.1 .1 by 2.5 by 13.1. Anything over a pound, you need dimensions for. And if it's going international, you need dimensions for anything. <clears throat> okay. And the weight, two pounds, one ounce. Okay, and we paid 668 for that yep. back in 2021. Oh yeah. The next thing is going to Dallas, so that's great. Sweet. It's Escada Sport, size 42, US 12, maxi skirt, white split hem, 100% linen, cotton lining. If you joined us yesterday, <laughs> we sold the exact same skirt in black. Yep. And now we're selling the white one. Same size and everything, and for the exact same price. And here's the hot tip. Hot tip. Stick to your guns. I sold the white one yesterday for 30 and this person offered 25 and I knew it was worth 30 because I just sold one for 30. Yep. So I counted a 35 and they came back at 30. There you Boom, go. sold. <laughs> I knew exactly what it was worth. It's worth what somebody will pay for it, right? And so 25, somebody else paid 30. So it, it was not leaving my house for less than 30. No. And I'm not normally like that. Normally I'm a take the offer kind of yeah, girl. Right. <laughs> 11. But you know, it just, I just sold it. Okay. So I knew it's worth. Next is Chico's. Yeah. All right. You guys remember this, right? <laughs> this is also going to somewhere close to us. I'm looking at these destinations and it's really weird. Things are very close to us. Yes. I'm not starting any conspiracies. I'm just saying. Chico's purple stretch jean jacket, size one, US medium with knit tank top, size two, two piece set, 28 bucks going to Albuquerque. So we did sell this like, what, two weeks ago? A week and a half ago, something like that. I'm not, no, don't get down. I transposed the numbers. It's okay, we got it back. And so to the this right one person. was like 7520, and then we had another package going out the same day that was 7250. And even though we double check and he gives me the numbers, I must have slapped the labels backwards and or something happened. Something happened. 
because they got flip flopped. So we had them send them back to us. We, well, I'm gonna. I I have an issue with transposing numbers sometimes as well. So I may have read it wrong. I don't. We know. the blind leading the blind here. As we get older, both of us have had number issues, <laughs> and we have a number based inventory. Oh, ah! no. Anyway, all's good. They both sent it back to us, and now we are re sending the things out to their proper homes. Correct. It's one of the only times that's ever happened, knock on wood. Yes. Is this wood? Is this, oh, it's wood. No, no, that's melon. That's, wood. Yeah. You know <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me make a new ticket for that real quick. Eight. Uh, I told you over the weekend that we listed all of the shoes that were listable from the 104 pairs that we had and another pair sold, so that's good. All right, flat rate envelope for the, uh, the Chico's. Okay, this is a pair of Stuart Weitzman women's size eight narrow brown toe loop slide sandals. And they sold for $31.96. Stoked about that. A lot of the shoes we got were sandals, so they're not like I think sandal, you know, boots you can ask more money for, but sandals. Okay. Oh, these, all right. Yeah. These are, uh, and they were all vintage. They're all from the 90s. All the shoes were from like Super the 90s. 90s. Which is good because the 90s are back, baby. Nice. But a lot of them had condition issues from being kind of old. They needed some shoe goo, et cetera. And so we just kind of bypassed the ones that had issues. We may go back and kind of take care of some of those issues and list more shoes. Yeah. But I'd say we listed about 70%. Do you think that's right? I think that's right. Okay, so these, they paid per priority or they didn't? They did. Okay. Mm. What's wrong? Nothing, I was just gonna wrap it, wrap them in something. And... Well, I have, I mean, we have some stuff. Yeah. So we definitely need to order more bubble wrap. We don't have any outfits? Uh, we probably do. I just need to get it. So. I just need a little bit like this thing. It's not good. Not I mean, they're going into a padded envelope, so this, I just need a little bit of something. This will be okay. Okay. All right. Flat rate. <clears throat> Um, you know, we've been listing things that look like this, this next one, I don't know. I don't, I don't really have, I don't have any, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I'm just being honest. It's, what, oh yeah, this is weird. It's weird, but I want to show it to you because weird stuff sells, we know that. Yes. It's like this, really thick, isn't it? It's a thick 1990s t-shirt. It's yeah. definitely single stitched and it has this embroidery and like, I never would have ever picked this up. <laughs> But I sure listed it. It's the brand IB Diffusion. And the reason I listed it is because it has a tag here, 1991. It's 100% cotton. It was made in Hong Kong. All mm -hmm. of this stuff. It's fully embroidered and it's thick. And it's kind of like Bluefish. You guys know I talk about that brand all the time. Yeah. Those big graphic, like this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it sold for 20 bucks really fast. So. Sweet. I don't know. I just love... I love estate sailing when we have to buy the whole thing. I hate it. Okay, I hate it. But I love it in the fact that we get to learn new brands and like new styles because we take risks that we never would take. I would have never bought that. Even at the bins, I would not have bought that shirt. But just because I don't wear that shirt doesn't mean someone else isn't going to rock that shirt. True. Bad. And maybe someone loves IB Diffusion. I don't know. <laughs> but here's the title. Vintage. I started with vintage. I don't always do that, but I remember listing this live being like, I'm going to figure this out. Remember me saying, I'm going to sell this. So I said, vintage IB diffusion, women's size large, embroidered top, single stitch t-shirt, 1991. It sold very fast for 20 bucks. I mean, I think I took an offer of 20 bucks. I think I probably listed it for 30 because it was vintage. Sounds about right. I keep getting spam text. This is like getting to be an issue. <clears throat> I 
don't know how to turn it off. Okay. So anyway, I'm happy about that. Yeah. Nine ounces. The next is a brand that we also don't know, but we decided to list it because of some of the factors and I will share those with you. This is Shore Shapes, size 12, shirt front, ruffle black, one piece, tummy control, swimsuit. We love selling swimsuits. Um, this is in a larger size, which typically does well. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that it has like these tummy shaping, because when I looked it up, these the ruching and the ruffling and the shirring, all of that is really flattering in a bathing suit. I'll show you the the tag. We did stretch it to make sure that it wasn't like crunchy or anything. Still good to go. Sweet. So we're like swim, sweet. Yep. List it. There we go. Thank you. And that sold for twenty seven ninety six. Love selling swim all year long. We buy swim at the bins. I, I brought it up in the bins video. That big video had really bad sound. I'm sorry. We're gonna fix it. But I did bring it up. I was like, should I get this Target bathing suit that's new at tags? I did not get that. But if it's like kind of like a shaping situation, I normally pick it up. And this, yeah, $27.96 plus shipping. Yes. That's great. Yeah. For something we have 70 cents into. Right. You know? uh, eight ounces. Next is Eileen Fisher. I know you're shocked, but this one's a banger. Oh, this is cool. Eileen yeah, Fisher, yeah, yeah. one size, sheer, streaky plaid, crinkle silk, poncho, ash neutral color. That's what I wrote. I just describe all Eileen Fisher and exactly what it is. $71.96. Nice. Yeah, super awesome, lightweight, <coughs> new with tags. I didn't even put new in the title. I should have. It's just like a poncho. Yeah. It's real cool though. But the re it. what's the retail on this sucker? I don't know. It's scratched off, but it started with a two. Definitely two hundred something. Two hundred something. And seventy one ninety six plus shipping. I'm thrilled about that. Hey, hey, hey. That's what I'm saying. These these are all. We didn't have any like pinger sales. Everything was over twenty dollars everything the lowest dollar thing was 20 20 bucks and that was that t-shirt so i think that's good i think that's really good so maybe we'll still meet our goal despite only having 13 sales it's not always about the number of packages it's what's in the package aha that was wisdom imparted on you <laughs> <clears throat> so because this is new with tags and it's like that i would love to put it in a padded one of our Padded's, if you don't mind. Okay. It's not going to go over a pound, but. The next thing is a bit shocking to me. Where it goes. Oh, is it in the box? Yeah. <clears throat> This is Lululemon, and it's a wrap sweater. <laughs> is this the one we had that she's trying to figure out? I could not figure out how to do right it. Right side up or upside down, or there is no right side up. I used to think that all Lululemon, like, substantial pieces were um, worth a lot of money, and we've got this at the bin, so it was fine. It was only $1.99. Actually, maybe we got it at the thrift. I don't know. Yeah, thrift. Sometimes we find Lulu at the thrift <laughs> that hasn't been marked up because they didn't catch it. This was one of those, yep. And we couldn't figure out how to put it on the dang <laughs> dress form. It was it was like a mess. Super mess. Anyway, when I looked up the comps, once I finally figured out what it was, it's called the Lululemon Women. It makes two size medium large black heather gray wrap sweater jacket. And it sold only for $27. Oh, man. But it had a ton of interest. But that's where the comps were for this. But it had a ton of interest. Yeah. But if I had listed it at 50 bucks and everybody else was down near 30 it would have never sold in this case right because all of the sold i mean all of them with eileen fisher i know I, I tell a different story and i think that's because the comps are kind of all over the place as we like to say i'll show you guys this thing <laughs> yeah i'm not i don't i don't know i don't either I, we don't know so it's got like sleeves and <laughs> Does, do you want to wear this? I, no. 
I don't. Anyway, the comps for this were telling a very, very strong story, and they were all moving between 25 and 30. So to get 27 is right in line. Perfect. Yep. And we paid two bucks for it. I do not pay up for Lululemon ever. Not gonna ever. Do it. I used to. But in the last two years, okay. never. Yeah. And if, But if we can find it, particularly the men's, the thrift stores never mark up the men's because they cannot tell that it's Lululemon. Yeah. Dan finds it all the time at the bins because he wears Lululemon pants so he knows what they feel like. If you can find those sweatpants that are men's, he pays $100 on Posh for his sweatpants. No. Yes, you do. You're not that much on Posh. I don't remember that. <laughs> I have bought him some for a hundred dollars on Bosch for your birthday. They don't make the ones he wear you wear anymore. That's really? why. Rare. They're they're hard to find. They're HTF. <laughs> they are very hard to find. <laughs> they're called the hustle pant. If you ever wanted to know, isn't that funny? Yeah. He wears them every single day. They're He's got like three pairs best of hustle is, pants. Best sweatpants ever. Hustle pants. Okay. Um, 11.6 by 2.5 by 13.4, right at two pounds. Okay. Next, also our, one of our favorite brands that sells free people. I know what people <laughs> say about this, but I just listed like eight free people things between yesterday and today that April had done that we found at our last bins video when we found all the free people, all that stuff is finally listed. Oh, this thing's awesome. This thing is awesome. And this is one of the diffusion or collaboration lines of Free People that I always look for. It is called Free People New Romantics. Size small, beaded, shift, mini dress, brocade, embellished. Brocade. Brocade. This, show them the tag. Of, oh, it's so pretty. This is all beaded. This is like a stunning piece. Yes. If you can find this, it's similar to like... If you can find the Banana Republic Mad Men line, you know, if there's just certain co collaborations that do really well, normally we get like 20 bucks for free people and we're fine with that. This one sold for $30 on an offer, but we've had it for a while. Uh, but the comps for this, these kind of things, the new romantic stuff can go really, really high because a bunch of celebrities were wearing it when it dropped. So you can find celebrity photos and put them in your listing. I don't know if we're supposed to do that, but I did it. <laughs> uh, it sold yeah. for 30 bucks. Who was that? I don't know, but this needs to go on a padded because of those beads. Yeah, okay. I'm happy with that. How much should we pay? I think it's bins. No, this says four forty nine. Oh, I would have paid four forty nine for it because I love that line. <clears throat> okay, next is I know you're gonna be shocked <laughs> Lafayette 148 women size 12 button front top ruffle front sleeve white stretch and it's over 29 bucks these white so for Eileen I mean for Lafayette 148 for white button downs with ruffles and stuff we normally expect around 30 to 35 for the same shirt in Anne Fontaine we would expect between 40 and 50 and then for Eileen Fisher, if it was just a white button down, maybe like 20, 25. Yes. That's kind of where those end up. <clears throat> this is a really, is this the one with like the mariachi sleeves? No, it's not. It's the ruffle collar. Look at this. Nice. Got a little ruffle sleeve action here. We have one that we just listed that has like these big mariachi sleeves. They're great. And that one will go for more because of the sleeves. It's a nice, just a nice dress shirt. You couldn't tell between Anne Fontaine and this. This is... Very similar in style. And this sold for $29, like I said. Right right in line with what I would expect. <clears throat> come on, come on. There we go. Okay, and finally. And finally. Finally. Eileen Fisher, size medium washable stretch crepe slim pull on pants charcoal gray man the ones that started it all <laughs> i know they're our favorite thing to sell on the whole planet 
Uh, I hope you can find some. Keep looking in the pants section, in the pajama section, wherever you gotta look to find pull-on pants. In the legging section, you can find these. Uh, these sold for $47.96. Lovely. The pants that started it all. These are newer, actually. Yeah. That tag is newer. $47.96. Gotta love Eileen Fisher pant. We have been listing so many pants. I had just said before we got the big haul, the estate sale buyout in the van, I just said, like, right before that, I wish we could just find, like, a thousand pairs of pants. <laughs> and then we did. <laughs> yes. Just gotta put it out there, you know? You gotta manifest it. Right. <clears throat> All right, so these are going. Eleven ounces. All right, here you go. Thank you. Okay. I can turn my sound effects up a little bit. Love it. Love it. All right. Oh, it's in here. It's so loud. Oh, it's the shoes. That Lululemon thing is super cheap to ship because it's going to Arkansas. Yes. Love that. Dan made an Instagram today. I did. I made an Instagram, a story. Cute. Just looked at it. Someone's building a bundle on Poshmark. I love that. Yeah. What is happening? <clears throat> okay, ready. I'm ready. Nine eight nine. What? Hickey, Hickey Freeman. Nine eight nine. Oh, we're finally clearing out some of this stuff. It's I okay. know. Okay, seven seven four eight. Padded, no, not padded. Regular flat rate, seven five two zero. Did a bunch of cross listings today. Cross listed like thirty five things. Sweet. So hopefully, sales pick up. Padded flat rate, four eight nine four. <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh oh. <laughs> seven four seven two. I'm super nervous now. Oh come on! They don't want to. They don't want to mess up. You're not gonna mess up. Six zero zero five. Seven two two six. Four 
4858, the box. Padded flat rate, 7052. Seven five four three. Seven six eight three. All right. There we go. Yay! Hooray! All right. Sound effects are too short. Yeah, That's that. what you get with a $30 soundboard. Oh, is it 30? Yeah, it was <laughs> super cheap. <laughs> All right, we are going to add up the profits. Dan's going to show you the cats, go to the post office, come back to see what we made today. Yes! Stay tuned. He's... <laughs> Hey, picnic. You all comfortable? You're a good girl. <laughs> Jeremy? Relaxing? Sleeping? Yeah, you sleep. <laughs> Alright, you guys. I gotta run to the post office, but I'll see you in a minute. Be good. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hey. Doing a little bookkeeping. All right. This is how we do our bookkeeping with Vendu. You can explain if you want. Yep. So what it does, once you enter the sale details, it will automatically delist it from every other platform uh, it's listed on and then calculates your profit. So 1936 for this guy. Stuart Weitzman's. So the, the, yeah, the cost price, here, yeah. yeah. The price sold right there, That that's what the buyer paid including what we charge them for shipping and then yeah the shipping expense is what the shipping label actually cost us so sometimes sometimes if we make like Oops. a dollar or two on shipping you know it'll automatically figure it in there because we include the shipping in the price sold i hope that makes sense and we include the promotions and the marketplace fees. I add them together ahead of time. Yeah. That's why we use these little tickets. It just helps us keep everything on track. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to see how we do that, we have a video, pretty comprehensive video actually, on listing on our channel. Do this every single day so that we don't double sell things. Yeah. It's also good to get keep your finger on the pulse of what is selling. I'm Agreed. searching by inventory number. Which makes it a lot faster than it used to be. Yeah. <laughs> what do we make on this guy? 47.20, nice. On a piece of silk. Mm-hmm. Wasn't much to that, was there? Nope. Nope. Forty eight fifty eight. Hmm. Twenty bucks profit. Sweet. <laughs> That's why I don't pay up for Lululemon now. Yeah. I don't know who that is. 
Remember, it sold for thirty, and they paid eight ninety nine shipping. That's where the thirty eight ninety nine comes from. Yep. Nine oh four means it was promoted, so I've already added that in. I get this from the all transactions page on eBay. Doesn't take very long to do this. It's nice to have it done though. Excuse me. Pardon me, sorry. <clears throat> and it also, I mean, it lets you see a very accurate and detailed snapshot of where the business is every single day. We need that. When we first started, we did not have that. We had no idea if we were even profitable. Yeah. We did not know what was going on. We pay every month for this. It's like 50 bucks or something, but it's worth it. That's all promoted as well. I don't know. Sometimes you have to like go up here. $30 profit. thirty fifty one on those. And we have our two Poshmark sales. I don't know. It's going to be a close one today. Yep. $300 a day profit is... Tough. It is tough. I feel like every day is a <laughs> kind of a fight <laughs> to get there, you know? Yeah. I add, uh, we have a shipping discount on Poshmark, so I add that into the marketplace fees and keep the shipping at zero. It's just how I've chosen to do it. Because I didn't really pay anything. Got it. That makes sense. This is it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fifty six oh two. Oh man! Oh man! Okay, so right. now we go over here to the analytics tab. Yes. Yes. Made it. Woo! Every day is like, do we make it? Do we make it? <laughs> Look, we're down 68% from our sales that were yesterday because that was over a weekend. 13, um, our ASP is up. This does include shipping on eBay, so it's a little inflated. Yeah. But I will take that. Absolutely. That's great. Should we do the month today? Let's make sure we're still on track. 20, wait, 25 times 3. 75. Oh, so yeah. we could be at 7,500 <laughs> in profit for the month. Month to date. Oh, how do we go down? Oh, the returns. returns. The returns are killing us. Yep. So we're, we're a little bit under goal. We've never been this close before, so no. that's good. We're within, what is that, 65 bucks? Yeah. Uh, Dan process like seven or eight returns today, and that's what happens. We do take them out of our analytics. You can tell right now, because yesterday when I did this, yep. we were on track over $100 yep. in, the, in the red. In the black. In the black. Black. Um, and today we're $70, $65 under. Yep. What are you going to do? We'll be all right. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you later on the other channel, 7 to 10 p.m. Central Time. Live listing on eBay for three hours. Come hang out. Bye. Bye.